the committee states that in determining how long to maintain the current zero to one quarter percent target range for the federal funds rate, it will assess progress, both realized and expected, toward its objectives of maximum employment and 2% inflation. Starting next month, we will be purchasing $55 billion of securities per month, down $10 billion per month from our current rate. As before, if incoming information broadly supports the Committee's expectation of ongoing improvement in labor markets and inflation moving back over time toward its longer-run objective, the Committee will likely continue to reduce the pace of asset purchases in measured steps at future meetings. The FOMC will base its ongoing assessment on a wide range of information including measures of labor market conditions, indicators of inflation pressures and inflation expectations, and readings on financial developments. <laughs>